All right. We're now going to do skill 2.7. Uh, 2.7, excuse me, providing perineal or uh, genital care. Um, what I'm, this is going to be a two-part video. First is going to be on the female uh, clients, and then I'm going to pause it, because I learned how to do that. And then uh, I will show you how to do it on a male client. Okay? So, um... We're going to first of all gather our supplies. What are our supplies that we need? We need two basins, one for washing, one for rinsing. We need two washcloths, a washing and a rinsing. We need one towel. We need one absorbent pad or chucks to put underneath. And then we need a bath blanket. Why do we need the bath blanket? Because we're going to be exposing uh, the patient to um, you know, to everybody. Well, we're going to provide privacy, but what happens if somebody walks in? Or what happens if the person is just really modest? Okay, so you want to you want to provide as much comfort for them as possible. So you would take and um, lay your, your bath blanket across them to try to um, make them feel more comfortable, okay? So um, what we want to do is I'm going to try to do this without knocking over my... Um, camera here because it's sitting on the bed is that you want to bring the um, your clients legs up into the lithotomy position which is just open opens up that area okay um, and then you would place the bath blanket on the upper um, let's see if I can do this without making you uh, dizzy here you would pa uh, place the bath blanket um, up along here okay and so that you could get in and do your wash and and still provide privacy for your patient do you see how that works okay but for the sake of uh so that you see what i'm doing i have to remove that okay so then then we're gonna i'm gonna show you how to uh, provide the care so we're gonna put down an incontinent pad now you would change the incontinent pad um, underneath them first uh, before providing the care if it was if it was wet or um, not positioned correctly um, and then you would um, place a dry one um, down as well in I gotta fold it up because of my camera I'm sorry but you would place the incontinent pad um, underneath them um, to keep the pad that you want under the underneath them dry okay so you may need two incontinent pads. You're definitely going to need gloves. So we'll put our gloves on. We'll have our wash basin to wash and our rinse basin to rinse. We have a washcloth in each one. We have soap in one, rinse water in the other, and we have a towel, OK? Um, we folded the linen down to the foot of the bed. And we folded the gown up to expose the genital area. We placed a bath blanket in the legs uh, over the body and the legs, and an absorbent pad on the buttocks. We want to um, have the client in a back lying position with the knees slightly flexed and hips slightly externally rotated so that we can visualize the perineal area. We want to be inspecting the perineal area while we're doing this, especially around the urethra in clients with indwelling catheters, okay? So the catheter would go in here. We want to make sure that we check this whole area to make sure that there's no sores or anything developing, okay? We don't want that to happen, okay? So what you would do is you would get your um, soapy uh, washcloth. Now you're going to clean the labia majora, which is the outer, okay? Then you're going to spread the labia and wash the folds between the labia majora and the labia minora, okay? So you're going to wash here, and then you're going to wash here, okay? All right? All right. So we've washed the outer because we always want to wash... Um, uh, clean to dirty, right? So this is the cleanest part, okay? And the dirty part is in here, okay? So we want to wash, okay? We don't have to rinse that right at this moment uh, because we're really going to be rinsing it when we rinse, when we wash further in here. Now, you have four corners of the washcloth, okay? Um, 
and you're going to you're going to use four different areas to do this washing okay all right so we've washed one and the other area two okay get the other one we're always going top to bottom right top towards the butt three four okay and you can use the middle to wash right straight down okay so that's the washing you're going to do the same with the rinsing okay rinse rinse one two three four and then right straight down the middle okay that's the rinse and you're going to pat dry okay you want to make sure that it's nice and dry okay nice pat and dry okay um, at that point you're going to roll them onto their side I can't do that right now let me pause the camera and I'll take pick it up from there okay hold on and a pause okay so as you can see I've turned our female client onto the side where the side rail is I've covered um, covered them up as much as possible what you want to do now is you want to wash the uh, gluteal uh, folds and the entire buttocks with the client turned on the side facing away from you okay so again you want your uh, your soapy washcloth you want to make sure your pad is underneath there so that you keep your linen dry okay you're going to wash buttocks you always want to do outside to inside okay okay different areas you're going to wash okay so i've washed now i'm going to rinse you're going to rinse the entire buttocks and then you want to rinse the gluteal folds okay and you're going to pat dry nice and dry okay at this point, we would reposition our um, uh, patient, and our client, uh, in a position of comfort and uh, clean up our supplies, uh, take off our gloves, wash our hands, and document what we had done. Now I'm going to pause and show you how to clean a male client. So pause. Okay, we're back. So. Um, you're gonna it's gonna be the same supplies in order to care for a male uh, to provide perineal genital care for a male client okay the only difference is the obviously the anatomy okay so um, we're gonna wash and we're gonna dry the penis um, using firm strokes the client has not been circumcised we'll get into that in just a moment okay so what you want to do is um, you want to go and um, clean the penis itself so you're going to clean okay clean it make sure you clean the tip of the penis as well okay the head of the penis and underneath the head of the penis okay you want to clean that good and then you're going to rinse the same okay rinse it okay now you want to clean the um, scrotal area okay so you're going to clean the whole scrotal area clean really good okay with the soapy water okay and then you're going to rinse the entire scrotal area okay I'm trying not to bounce the bed I'm sorry we've cleaned that okay and then you're going to dry the entire area okay at this point you would roll the patient just like you would with the female client and uh, provide the um, perineal area uh, you would clean that the buttocks and all that again um, just like you would the female now what is different about a male client okay um, the males um, some of them may be um, circumcised or uncircumcised and I'm going to try to get this down to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the head of the penis, yes? Okay. Um, 
with uncircumcised males, the foreskin has not been caught, okay? So there would be foreskin here that would have to be retracted back over the head of the penis. So there would be skin that, would, that you would have to um, pull back, first of all. You'd pull the foreskin back, and you'd find a head of a penis just like this, okay? And you would clean the head of the penis in that foreskin really well. Okay, the other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you dry it really well. Okay, and then this is of utmost importance here. Okay, if you have a male who is uncircumcised, you have to, when you are done providing care, retract that foreskin back over the head of that penis. That means that you take the foreskin and pull it back up over the head of the penis so that the head of the penis is covered. Okay, so why is this important? This is important because um, the foreskin can act as a tourniquet, okay, to the head of the penis. And what will happen is the head of the penis will swell and to the point where um, it's going to need surgical um, intervention. Uh, it can be very, very painful for uh, the gentleman, okay? So um, just make sure you uh, retract or, or, or put back the foreskin when you're done washing, okay? So at this point, we would remove our pad. We would take care of all of our supplies. We'd make sure that the pad underneath the patient is dry. We don't want to leave them wet, right? We would position our patient in comfort. We would uh, take care of, clean up, take care of our supplies, take our gloves off, wash our hands, and document all of our findings. Okay, so that's it for scale 2.7, providing perineal genital care.